So far in this class, you've learned how to create links to other pages or websites by selecting text and then entering URLs into the link field in the Property Inspector. But what if you wanted to have a graphic or even a portion of a graphic be a link? You've surely seen other websites or web pages where you just click on an image to be linked to another page or another site. And you may have wondered how it was done. Well, this video is going to show you how. The process of making links out of graphics is called image mapping. Essentially, what you do is draw on the image using tools in Dreamweaver to create hotspots that have links associated with them. It's a simple concept. Just use the appropriate tool to trace the shape you want to be linked to be linkable on the image, and when done, enter the URL for where the link should take the user. Pretty simple, huh? So let's see how it's done. As you can see here, I've loaded a image of the De Anza College map into this page. It shows the entire campus if I scroll down a little bit further and back up. And what I'd like to do now is show you how to do image mapping on the, using this as, a, as an example of how to do that. So uh, when I click on the De Anza College map, you'll notice that the property inspector at the bottom has changed uh, to reflect the fact that there's an image selected. And in the in the property inspector at the bottom left corner, there is an area that we're particularly interested in right now because what we want to do is create an image map. And the four tools across the bottom that you see here represent the four different tools that you use when you're making an image map. First is the arrow tool, call, and uh, as you can see, the pop-up says it's a, the pointer hotspot tool. This is the rectangle hotspot tool. This is the circle hotspot tool. And this is the polygon hotspot tool. And each one of them allow you to create image maps on top of the image that you have. And those, those maps become uh, hot spots that can be uh, linked to other uh, pages or other places on the same page if you're using uh, anchor tags in any way. So let's go first and find a hot, uh, space we want to make a hot spot. And I'm going to choose making it over the Flint Center first because that's a fairly uh, uh, rectangular shaped building. So we're going to use the rectangular hotspot tool. I'm going to click on that, go to the Flint Center, and in this case I'm going to zoom in a little closer so you can see the work that I'm doing. You'll notice that the Flint Center is not a perfect rectangle, but for uh, all intents and purposes of making a website, uh, we don't have to be that uh, closely aligned with the edges of the rectangle because most people will click in the center of the hotspot area. So I'm going to simply click at the top left corner and drag down and as you can see there is a box being drawn out over that area and when I release it that box gets uh, we get a pop-up uh, box that says please describe the image map in the alt field on the properties inspector. This uh, will allow visually impaired people who use tools that read web pages to them to know what it is. So I'm going to click on OK and we're going to zoom back out. I'm going to go down to the alt field and I'm going to type in Flint Center so that we take care of uh, the visually impaired right away. We don't go, we won't forget it and go back if we decided to go back to it later. So now you'll see that the Flint Center has a rectangle over it, and that's, uh, that indicates the hotspot. So um, now all I need to do is uh, put in a link that I want it to link to somewhere else, uh, and I can do something as simple as putting in um, HTTP colon slash slash www.deanza.edu slash, let's just say, Flint Center. I don't know if there's a page like that, but uh, we can assume for the purposes of this demonstration that there is. Of course, uh, in order to get the most accurate web uh, URL, I should go to that location and copy the URL from, from the window. So now I've created a link for that one. Uh, just to show you how the circle tool works, uh, we're going to click on the circle hotspot tool. The planetarium on uh, the De Anza campus is uh, somewhat of a circular shaped building, although it does uh, not reflect that in the map nor in real life. But I'm going to zoom in again and I'm going to click and drag across that area. 
Now this time uh, I was a little bit off in my placement of the initial placement so um, first I have to zoom back out here and indicate that it's uh, I'll do that later because I want to focus more on this. So I'm going to zoom in again a little closer to the planetarium so you can see what I'm doing here. You'll notice that it's a little bit off and even though I said it didn't matter too much before at the Flint Center I am a little picky about it making sure it covers the whole thing. So with the pointer tool selected now I can relocate that circle and as you can see it now covers the planetarium option pretty well. So I'm going to zoom back out and uh, now I want to find a, a regularly shaped uh, location on the map so I'm going to I'm going to scroll up the uh, administration building as you can see right here is a little bit irregularly shaped so to show you how to use that polygon hotspot tool I'm going to click on it now I'm going to zoom in closer to the administration building and just show you how to use that so I'm going to click in the top left corner uh, and then I'm going to in effect trace and it tells me again to enter the uh, information for the alt field so I'm going to come back to that later because I want to focus on showing you how to use this. So I'm going to draw a, a horizontal line across here simply by clicking once. Then I'm going to draw another vertical line down here to click again. And you'll notice that it filled in a, the triangle there. Now I'm going to click on this point and I'm going to continue to follow this pattern of clicking on the outer edge of the admin building. And notice that as I get closer and closer to uh, the end I see that I have the um, the area starting to fill in better so now I'm going to double click there to indicate that I'm finished and now it's going to ask me uh, for the uh, name of the uh, building again to fill into the alt field and I'm going to go down there and I'm going to say the admin building And uh, just because I don't ever want to forget this again, I'm going to go back to the planetarium with my pointer tool and click on the planetarium and fill that alt field in with the planetarium. Always good to follow through for those who have visual impairments. So now I've got three areas. Um, I just need to make sure the planetarium has a link to it as well. So again, I fill in, uh, and this is a made up URL, by the way, I'm not sure if this really goes, uh, goes to the planetarium or not, uh, but I'm, I'm doing it to point out to you that you need to, the whole point of this exercise is to make sure you've got your links. And so that's the planetarium, and now I want to do the admin building so I can do the same thing again, where I go http colon slash slash edu slash administration underscore building. So it's as simple as that to build uh, what are called image maps with the links that go to the respective uh, URL. And uh, so you can see it's pretty easy. Take a complex image, uh, trace uh, over the image the um, the places where you want to have hotspots using the hotspot tool in the bottom uh, left corner of the property inspector and then you enter the of course the alt tag and the URL and you've got a pretty nifty little web page so until next time I'll see you later